What's happening, Boxing World Fight fans? I am your host, Nice, and welcome back to the Fight Room. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. For the latest boxing news, feedback, and entertainment, hit that bell icon for the latest and hit that like button. Now, congratulations to Mikey Garcia. Just won a unanimous decision victory over Jesse Vargas. 12 round action and it was a pretty good fight overall man mikey just controlled the fight but vargas he did quite well in the fight man he was pushing through throwing some combinations throwing his right hand and landing the right hand a few times counter punching and just couldn't you know he couldn't keep up with um mikey garcia Mikey was just, of course, you know, using his boxing IQ, moving around the ring, using his one-two punch, you know, his famous, you know, left punch, right hand. He always is accurate with that, using his IQ, and came up with the victory. Of course, he dropped Vargas in the sixth round, and it was a good drop, man. He hit him quite well, man, and after that, you know, Vargas just couldn't do anything, though he was doing well but just doesn't have any power he just doesn't carry no power if he would have had some type of pep yeah he would have done some damage to mikey because he got him quite well a few times with that overhand right and you know just couldn't you know couldn't do it man no power so hopefully man he can learn from this and you know just pick himself back up continue to box and you know hopefully he can get some good fights along the way but mikey garcia is stating also that he is going to stay in the 147 pound division and wants to fight the best fighters in the division and we know that he is kind of small man he is only five feet six inches and you know he's just too small for the division man you know he's a good fighter you know he's an accurate puncher he picks his punches you know and good fighter man but just not cut out for the 147 pound division at all i think he should stick with the 140 and he would make some noise for sure you know he can fight maurice hooker that is going to fight regis progre in um uh, i think march i believe i'm not quite sure but and even jose ramirez that is a good good fighter that beat maurice hooker for the ibf title so yeah man he can make noise in that division but just in the 147 he can't man i don't i don't think he would surpass the the top five to be honest with you i don't think he would beat necessarily the top five in the welterweight division man you know he's a good fighter though that's what i'm saying he's good he's one of the elite best fighters but he's just too small for the division yeah man and another thing man congratulations to chocolatito Man, he had a great fight tonight. You know, he showed himself that he is back. He returns and he looked at just like he used to look, you know. Um, overall, great combination punching. He got cut, I think, by a headbutt, I believe. I forgot what round that was, but man, he, you know, he showed, you know, good skills like he always do. And Yafari, I believe was his name, and he was the champion and with 26 wins and no losses. And was a stronger fighter coming in. But Chocolatito just managed to do his thing. Because we know that he is a great fighter. And just used his all around IQ. And just took Yafari out of there. With a ninth round TKO. Winning the WBA flyweight title. So congratulations once again to Chocolatito for doing his thing. Roman Gonzalez the 115, 115 pound flyweight WBA new champion so yeah and another thing man mikey going back to mikey garcia he should just go back to 140 and fight there you know because even robert garcia and his father doesn't want him to really fight at the 147 pound division anyway you know they really want him to go down but he insists man he really wants to go and stay at the 147 and fight the elite fighters he said that he doesn't want to be one of those fighters when he retires that they'll forget about so he wants to make sure that he makes his name stand out after retirement even if he loses these fights 
he's willing to take the chance and fight these guys. So big ups to him for that. You know, you got to respect him for that. So, hey, let him do his thing. Hopefully he can manage to pull some victories with these elite fighters in the near future. Because he said he is willing to go all the way with it for sure. You already know, it is your boy. Nice, like, comment, subscribe. But most of all, don't forget, hit the like button and share the fight room.